Hey, back around players, Jimbo here. Here's a uh, little recap on uh, three strategies that I use, I've been using for the last few years, and it's a product of uh, my Baccarat cheat sheet. And, um, you know, that's where I did the 900 shoes, live shoes that I played and documented them and came up with some uh, suggestions as to bet selection. So let's just go ahead and take a look and see how this turns out. Um, as I mentioned over the last uh, few years, you know, I've suggested three different strategies that I use. Uh, two are for brick and mortar, uh, the other one's for online live games. So here what I've done is taken a b-board from Bovado, which is an online uh, casino, and taken the b-board from a live Baccarat game and then played out each of my strategies to see which one performed best in this particular uh, example. If you're not familiar with the bet selection card, uh, here's a quick overview. Uh, here you can see at the top, we've got uh, numbers for each hand. It goes one through uh, 48. This example goes through hand 26. And the reason that is, is that if you look in the upper uh, left-hand corner here, you'll see stop hands 1 through 26. I found out over the years that if I put in a stop loss trigger, uh, I end up winning more games than losing. And that's simply because if by the time I get to hand 26, which is over here, if I'm in the minuses here, especially like a minus 10, it's time to quit. But if I'm in the plus and that plus can be anywhere from a five uh, or better. Uh, in this particular instance, you see I got a seven and a, uh, a 10. And so you would keep on betting. Uh, so when it's a minus, and these are all in units, by the way. So you see a, a minus three units that I bet, and it's um, uh, I lost, so it's a minus. Uh, but when you see a, a plus, like here, a two, uh, with no minus sign on it, that's a winner. And then, of course, down here you have uh, whether they're player bankers or ties. Uh, zeros uh, are ties uh, for me. Uh, I guess I could have put a T in there, right? Yeah, well, I didn't. And then at the top you'll see in this row it says ties. These are all high probability numbers for ties out of the 900 shoes that I documented. And then, of course, I told you about the stop loss uh, triggers. Uh, and so let's go to the next slide. Uh, you know, in the past, uh, I did a, a hundred shoe test on uh, the pro sheet, which had the core strategy on it, the simple cheat sheet, and the foolproof uh, cheat sheet. Um, and, you know, really each of them had respective results. All were in the pluses. Uh, and it, in this example, the full proof uh, came out to be the winner, just as it did on the online um, shoe test, 100 shoe test. So all that being said, I'm not really suggesting that you have to use these or uh, these strategies particularly. I, I find them to be successful. You may not. But what I am saying to you is that you might want to get uh, the uh, BCS betting card uh, and see if it doesn't help or improve your game. Uh, you can find that on Baccarat uh, Cheat Sheets. And uh, so you can see the results here. I mean, basically, over here, we've got the simple betting cheat sheet. Uh, it came out to three units using that. Core strategy came out to 14 units. And foolproof came out to 18. Now again, foolproof was designed for the online betting strategies, uh, and so that was the the most successful online. I don't bet more than ten dollars uh, a hand, uh, and you know if I'm betting proposition bets like pairs and uh, ties, uh, I'm probably only betting a dollar to five dollars on those. So you know each to his own just depends on what you like to do. But I thought you might like to see this, and so I put it together for you.